Hey guys, let's talk about what I've done since buying my bike and what I'm going to do next. If you saw the playlist intro, you know this bike was a Craigslist bargain because there's a problem with the motor. I did some googling and found out that Honda issued a recall for this year and model of motorcycle back in 2016. From the Honda service bulletin, it said, The affected motorcycles may have an improperly machined crankshaft which may result in the failure of the connecting rod bearing retainer. Okay, cool, maybe that's the knocking or clacking that's coming out of the bottom of my engine. So I rented a U-Haul trailer and took my bike to the local Honda Power Sports dealership. I got a call later where they basically said yes, this bike had the recall addressed in 2016 when it had just 2,000 miles on it. Yes, that knocking from the bottom of the engine is probably the crankshaft and or connecting rod bearing. No, Honda won't pay for the recall service, because as far as Honda is concerned, the recall for this bike has already been satisfied. They then gave me a quote for about 10 hours of labor and about $500 worth of parts. I'm not about to foot a bill of $2,000 for a bike that I just bought for $1,500, so I took the bike home the next weekend. Before I left, I asked the guy if I could have a copy of the recall work instructions and parts list which he had printed out and was looking at while drawing up the repair quote. He said yes, so now I've got a full copy of the recall instructions. So here's my options. I could rebuild the engine following those recall instructions, or I could go find a replacement engine and just swap it out. If I rebuild, it'll probably take about $500 worth of parts, and if I screw it up, the engine's going to tear itself apart again. If I buy a replacement engine, it'll probably cost eight or nine hundred dollars, but it'll be a lot less exciting for you guys. So we're going to just do this a little at a time. I've got a handful of videos planned and we're going to start with how to take apart videos and then later we'll do the put it back together videos after we solve the knocking problem. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. If you have suggestions for other CBR 300 videos, or general new to motorcycle ownership videos, I'd love to hear them. If I ever do or say something wrong in a video, please tell me so I can correct it. Anyhow, that's the story so far. Have a good one.